Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today, I am going to be de-kitting a, a small snack size canvas from Fan Cells, and I will stick a picture of the original art over there. It, um, I'm calling this Autumn Tree. I think it has a different name on the website, but I'm calling it Autumn Tree, and I'll put a link in the description below so that you can find it for yourself. Um, I actually had forgotten that I ordered this canvas, and um, I was pleasantly surprised to find it because it's autumn and so it seemed kind of timely and it was a partial and it was a quick and easy finish. So um, coming off of some big completed projects, having something kind of small and quick was just what I needed. So um, this is a 33 by 33 partial round. And I'm just going to get started de-kitting. Um, I didn't actually kit these up. I just kept these in the bags. And the bags have the um, DMC numbers on them. And I did not have enough of one color to finish. So... 972, there were only five colors in this kit, and DMC 972, I ran out. I actually only had about half of the number of drills that I needed. Luckily for me, I had some spares. So you can see my spares are almost completely gone now, but I did have enough spares that I could finish what I needed to. So I was able to finish the canvas, even though I didn't have all of the drills that I needed um, that they sent me. So I did have more than enough of the rest of them, as you can see. So since I didn't get them up, I'm just going to be pouring them into here so I can pour them into my storage containers. And I am hoping in the next couple of weeks to be doing some, um, videos on my spare storage, how I set it up. I'm in the process of, I want to set up some, let's see, and that's the end of this box. I just had a few, the rest are all smaller DMC numbers. So let me put that box out of the way and get the other box that I need. Um, I am, as I said, hoping to set up, I need 606, um, some additional spare storage. I've got to get another photo box like I um, am using for all of these. I have enough spares now that I need to expand because these are getting kind of full. And I also ordered some drills that I'm going to need to be able to store. So that's going to mean that I need to expand too. So I'm actually going to go pick up a couple of photo boxes. So I have one on an extra one on hand for when I need it. Um, and then I'm going to set up a separate box for my special drills. Um, my crystal drills, my crystal rhinestone drills, I'm keeping in Tic Tac containers for right now, but all of my AB drills and my glow in the dark drills and my special shaped drills. Um, I'm going to try and come up with a better storage system for right now. They're just kind of haphazardly thrown into a box. And while I know where they are and I can find them fairly quickly, it's just not pretty. And so I want to make my storage prettier. So I will be um, there's a big piece of trash right there. Let me pull that out while I can see it. If I can get a hold of it. Um, so I want to make that storage prettier. I've got a box I can use. It's not the same size as a photo box. It's about, about half the size of a photo box, I would say but it will work for the amount of ABs and everything that I have, at least for now. And it's a box that I have on hand, so if it ends up not working at some later date, that's okay. 
because I have it on hand now. And I will pick up that extra storage box so that I will have it at a later date. Okay, so let me show you my trash from this kit, which was admittedly not a lot, but I didn't have all the drills I needed to finish. And also, um, I, I mean, this kit is a partial. It didn't have very much at all. Let me... Pull out some of these hairs. I the reason there's hair in here. I'm not that messy normally. I spilled these on the floor, and I had to go with my phone flashlight and pick them up. So you can see, not very much trash. Um, there is little tab pieces, some little small pieces that didn't quite get made. Some more squished out on the outside, um, misshapen, that kind of thing. But not a whole lot of trash, so which is good considering it was such a small kit. As I said, this is a 33 by 33. So let me show you the final canvas. Ta-da! As I said, there were only five colors, and this color number five was the one that I ran out of. Luckily, like I said, I had enough spares to finish it. This is a partial and I considered sealing it because there are some places where the glue is still a little bit sticky, um, where it's, you know, not just overhangs a little bit on the drills, but I'm not going to be doing anything but with this, but putting it in my portfolio storage. I don't ever intend to frame it or anything. So I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I will cut it out um, around the little cut lines and I will put it in my portfolio storage. Um, this kit was $4.16 and I'm sure there was some shipping but I don't remember off the top of my head how much that was. Um, it was a decent kit. It was quick. It only took me a couple of hours to complete. Um, my only frustration was that the number five drills there weren't enough of um, and the black drills, as usual, were pretty trashy. Um, black just seems to be that color that no matter who you get it from, the drills are just never great. So I had plenty and was able to finish it. So no big deal, but, um, just so you know. So there you have it. My finish of the, uh, autumn tree from fan cells. And again, I will put a link in the description below to this so that you can check out their website and see if they have anything you might be interested in. As always guys, before you go, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks for watching.